Hey peoples, this is another movie review of the movie Photograph. As always, I want to say thank you for listening. I really appreciate it. Let's get on to the review. So Photograph is about a struggling street photographer and his grandmother wants him to get married. And she says, I won't take my medicine until you find someone. So one day he takes a picture of a girl and sends it to his grandmother and says, this is the person I have found. Then the grandmother says, okay, I want to come visit her. So the guy has to find the girl and convince her to please pretend to be my girlfriend and I guess my future fiance and future wife and so on and so forth. And that's the movie we have now. So this movie is kind of eh. The main issue with this movie is the pace. It's very, very, very slow. Now I don't mind slow movies, but usually you have to justify that slowness with something like intense drama and amazing conversation and dialogue. This movie doesn't have any of that. This movie has very basic dialogue, nothing's that comedic or that brings you in or keeps you focused on the movie. It's just regular plain dialogue. Like I'm leaving to go to work. Okay, I'm leaving. All right. That's really dialogue that happened in the movie. Because of that, it makes the movie feel even slower. Now, I will say I do like the actual characters, the man and the woman, the photographer who has a very interesting background with his family and he sends all his money back home to pay for a debt that his father occurred. And that's very interesting. I, I liked his story. The girl, her family has passed away in a fire and also lost a grandfather. She's staying with her sister. It's very interesting their backstories that they share with us which is really great. I was like, oh, this is good. I, I'm, I'm interested in them. But the problem is when they're together, there is absolutely no chemistry whatsoever in this movie at all. I don't care when they're together because when they're together, it makes no complete sense. Okay, so the guy takes a picture of her. Then he has to find her. This girl is in school and the school has a billboard outside of it that shows like it's star student. She's a star student. So that's how he finds her. And then he follows her on a bus and sits on the bus with her, well, behind her. And at first I was like, oh, maybe she doesn't know he's there. Then the scene cuts away, then they come back to that and he's on the bus again, watching her. I'm like, is he following this girl? Is he stalking her? What's going on here? Maybe she doesn't know. But then she knows, she slides over and then he sits next to her. No conversation happens. The movie then cuts to them together on a bench and he hands her a photograph. And then she says something along the lines of, okay, when do I meet you to meet your grandmother? So apparently they've had the whole conversation about that he lied to his grandmother, but we didn't see any of that. And I'm just like, that was the point to show us character building. Also, there's another moment in this movie where they go to the movies together and they cut from that. And that was another moment to show us character building. They have another scene where they eat over his house together. That was another moment to show us character building. The overall story for the movie is that they are strangers, he lied to his grandmother, it brings them together. This lie should help them grow together into a relationship. That's what we're expecting at the end of the movie. It doesn't do that. Every time there's a scene to create that, the movie cuts away. And I'm assuming it's because they had no dialogue between them. There was nothing for them to say. Whoever wrote the dialogue in the movie didn't have enough dialogue in their minds to put in this movie to create that camaraderie or that bonding that would be nice to see on screen. The only other character that I liked was the grandmother of the photographer. She was really funny. I really enjoyed her. Hers was pretty much the only comedy that I liked in the movie that was really enjoyable. I also liked the visual shots in this movie. I don't know if that's via the director doing a great job or that. It's just interesting to see in a different place and uh, where people live because I believe they're in India. But that's a pretty much all of the positive things I liked about this movie. There's really not a lot of content here. They pat out the time with really long shots of people just sitting and thinking. And that's a mirror to real life where people do sit and think and you're like contemplating on your life and the decisions that you're making. But that doesn't work for a movie. No one wants to sit and watch someone think. It just makes the movie feel longer and it just drags it out. It's not fun to watch. Also, I gotta say that I absolutely hated this ending. The guy is doing something where he's trying to be chivalrous and they don't give us the payoff. If you set something up, you always have to pay it off, but they don't do that in this movie. But that's about it. As always, thank you for listening. Please go subscribe, 
thumbs up, like on YouTube, iTunes, wherever you're listening to this. And please tell other people about it. Uh, share it. Whatever you may want to do to help this show out. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. God bless. I'll talk to you tomorrow.